So after learning about the multiplication with 5 and 25, let us now move on to the next multiplication technique which is useful for multiplying numbers with 11 to 19. So here we are going to learn how to multiply large numbers with anyone from 11 to 19. The advantage we have here is that in all these numbers from 11 to 19, the tens place is equal to 1. So what we can do here is instead of multiplying the given number with 11, we effectively try to multiply only with 1 and get the answer. And similarly, instead of multiplying the number with 14, we can multiply the given number only with 4 and with a simple process, we can get the answer for multiplication with 14. So let us take some examples to understand this. The first one as you can see here is 1732 into 11. Now as I have already mentioned, generally multiplication with 11 can be done with the concept of split and merge. That means 11 can be taken as 10 plus 1. So the given number can be taken 10 times and then one more time to get the required answer. But as in when the numbers grow large, going by split and merge may become a little complicated. So here, let's see how to multiply the given number with 11 to 19 on paper but in a very simple way. The simple procedure here is each of the digits given in the number have to be multiplied with 1. And always we need to add the previous digit before we take the answer. For example, the first step here is 1 into 2 that is equal to 2. And as we have nothing before 2, simply we can take 2 in the answer directly. That means the first step is multiply 1 with the unit place of the given number. That means 1 into 2 is 2. The second step here is this 1 has to be multiplied with 3. 1 into 3 is equal to 3 plus the previous digit 2. So 1 into 3, 3 plus 2 will give us 5. Similarly, moving on with the remaining digits, 1 into 7 is 7 plus the previous digit, 3. 7 plus 3 is 10. So we get 0 in the answer and 1 gets carried forward. The next step here is 1 into 1, that is 1 plus 7. So 1 plus 7 is 8. So 8 should be taken in the answer. But as we have 1 as a carry here, 8 plus 1 becomes 9. So 9 is the number here. And the last step here would be, we need to consider a 0 before the number. So 1 should be multiplied with 0, 1 into 0, 0 plus 1, that will give us 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1 and that will come in the last step of the answer. So the answer for 1732 multiplied with 11 is 19,052. The simple process here is each of the digits of the given number have to be multiplied with 1 and the previous digit should be added before we take it in the answer. And remember always the last step here would be to multiply 1 with 0 and then plus 1, that is the previous digit. So it would be better that before we start this multiplication, we always put a zero in front of the number so that we don't miss on the last step. The general problem here is we forget to multiply with zero and add one in the last step and hence we end up with the wrong answer. So remember that each digit has to be multiplied with one and then the previous digit should be added to get the required answer. Similarly, when we take the second example here, that is 1598 into 12. Here, each of the digits of the given number is multiplied with 2 and the previous digit is added to get the answer. So let us see what will be the answer for 1598 into 12. 2 into 8 is 16 and as we have no previous digit here, directly 16 should be taken in the answer. So 2 into 8 is 16. So 6 comes in the answer and 1 gets carried forward. Remember, in each step only one digit should be taken in the answer and the other part goes as carry forward. The next step here is 2 into 9. So 2 into 9 is 18 plus previous digit 8. So 2 into 9, 18 plus 8. 18 plus 8 is 26. 26 and 1 is carry here. 26 plus 1 is 27. So we take 7 in the answer and now 2 goes carry for the next place. Then the third step here is 2 into 5. 2 into 5, 10 plus previous digit 9. So 2 into 5, 10 plus 9 will be 19. 19 plus 2 carry will give us 21. So we take 1 in the answer and now again 2 goes as carry to the next position. The next step is 2 into 1, 2 plus 5, the previous digit. So 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9. So we get 9 in the answer. And the last step here is 2 into 0, that is 0, plus 1 is 1. So the final answer here will be 19176, that is 19176. So as you can see here, instead of multiplying with 12 and making it a lengthy process, what we do is multiply each digit with 2 and add the previous digit. So this addition of previous digit gives us the multiplication with the remaining part, that is the tens place which is 1. 
So always, whenever we have to multiply any number with 11 to 19, we multiply only with the units place and add the previous digit to get the digit in the answer. Let us take two more examples now. Here we have to multiply 38,916 into 14. As I've already mentioned, it is better that we put a zero before the number so that we don't miss out on the last step. Now going by the same procedure, the first step here is 4 into 6, 24. So we get 4 in the answer and 2 is carried forward. The next step will be 4 into 1, 4, 4 plus previous digit, 6, 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 and 2 is the carry here, 10 plus 2 is 12. So we take 2 in the answer and now 1 is the carry. The next step will be 4 into 9, 4 into 9, 36, 36 plus the previous digit 1, 36 plus 1 is 37. 37 plus 1 is carry. So 37 plus 1, 38. So we can take 8 in the answer. Now 3 is the carry. The next step is 4 into the next digit. That is 4 into 8. 4 into 8 is 32. 32 plus previous digit 9. 32 plus 9 is 41. 41 plus 3 in the carry. 41 plus 3, 44. So we take 4 in the answer. And now 4 is the carry forward. The next step is 4 into 3, 12 plus previous digit 8. 12 plus 8, 20. 20 plus 4 carry 24. So we again get 4 in the answer and now 2 is the carry forward. And the last step is 4 into 0, that is 0, plus 3, 3. So 3 plus 2 will give us 5. So the final answer here is 5 lakhs 44,824. So 38,916 into 14 will be equal to 5 lakhs 44,824. So it's a very simple procedure and we get the answer much faster when compared to the regular way of multiplication. What we do is always multiply each of the digits of the given number with 4 that is the units place of 14 and add the previous digit to get an effective multiplication with 14. Let us now move on to the last one that is 43,172 should be multiplied with 19. And as you can see here again the tens place is 1. So the advantage is instead of multiplying with 19 we multiply each digit only with 9 and add the previous digit to get an effective multiplication with 19. So the process becomes really very simple. 9 into 2 is 18. So 8 in the answer and 1 is the carry forward. Then 9 into 7, 63 plus previous digit 2. 63 plus 2 is 65. 65 plus 1 carry will give us 66. So we write 6 in the answer and 6 goes as carry to the next place. Then the third step is 9 into 1 that is 9 plus 7, previous digit 7. So 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 plus 6 gives us 22. So 2 in the answer and 2 gets carried forward. The next step is 9 into 3. 9 into 3 is 27 plus previous digit 1. 27 plus 1, 28. 28 plus 2 is 30. So we write 0 in the answer and now 3 goes as carried to the next position. The next step is 9 into 4. We know that 9 into 4 is 36. 36 plus previous digit 3. 36 plus 3 is 39. 39 and 3 is the carry. That gives us 42. So we take 2 in the answer and 4 guess and 4 goes as the carry. The last step here is 9 into 0. That is 0 plus 4. 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. So the answer here is 8 lakhs 20,268. So friends, as you can see from these examples, multiplication of the numbers with 11 to 19 is a very simple procedure. In each step, here we multiply the unit space of the given number with the digits one by one and add the previous digit of the given number to get the answer. Alright friends, so after learning about the multiplication with 11 to 19, let's now see whether you have really understood that or not. Here comes the test for you. We have got three examples where you have to multiply numbers with 17, 13 and 19. So get started, your time starts now. I hope you all have got the answers. Let's see how many of you have got all three of them correct. The first one here is 59,172 into 17. So as discussed, we multiply only with 7 and add the previous digit to get the required answer. 
7 into 2 is 14. So 1 gets carried forward and 4 is in the answer. 7 to 7, 49 plus previous digit 2. 49 plus 2, 51. 51 plus 1 is 52. So 2 in the answer and 5 gets carried forward. 7 into 1 is 7 plus 7. That is the previous digit. 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 5 is 19. So we take 9 in the answer and 1 gets carried forward. 7 into 9, 63 plus the previous digit 1, 63 plus 1, 64, 64 plus 1 is 65. So we take 5 in the answer and 6 is the carry. 7 into 5 is 35, 35 plus previous digit 9, 35 plus 9, 44, 44 plus 6 is 50. So 0 in the answer and 5 is the carry forward. And the last step, 7 into 0 or 7 into nothing is 0 plus the previous digit 5, 5 plus this carry 5 here gives 10. So the answer here should be 10. So the final answer is 10 lakhs 5924. So from this example you can understand that it is not really required that we put a 0 before the number. If you can remember that the last step is to multiply with 0 that's enough. Or otherwise simply remember that in the last step we have to add the last digit with the carry and get the required answer. The next one here is 8197 into 13. So 3 into 7, 21, 2 is the carry, 3 into 9, 27 plus 7 is 34, 34 plus 2 is 36, so now 3 is the carry, 3 into 1, 3 plus the previous digit 9 is 12, 12 plus 3, 15, so 5 in the answer and 1 is the carry, 3 into 8, 24 plus 1, 25, 25 plus 1, 26, 2 is the carry and 8 plus 2 is 10, so the answer here should be 1,6561. Moving on to the last one here, we have 48 into 19. So 9 into 8 is 72. 2 in the answer and 7 gets carried forward. 9 into 4 is 36. 36 plus previous digit 8. 36 plus 8 is 44. 44 plus 7 is 51. So 1 in the answer and 5 gets carried forward. And the last step is 4 plus 5, 9. So we can say that the answer here is 9 to 12. Friends, if you have solved the last question in this manner, then I say that all of you are wrong. Though the answer is correct, 48 into 19, no doubt is 9 to 12. But remember, this is a simple calculation. And as we have discussed, try to keep simple things simple. There is no point in doing this calculation on paper, even though you can use this technique. The simple idea here is 48 has to be taken 19 times. So take it 20 times and give it back one time. 48 into 20 is 960 and when we give it back one time it's minus 48 960 minus 48 is 912 so when you can get the answer without writing anything on paper why to do this so this clearly shows that we need to apply this technique only when we are not able to do the calculation without paper otherwise keep it simple